Hey guys, for our read aloud today, we are going to be reading The Word Collector. And I love this little note right here. It says just a few words from Peter Hamilton Reynolds, who is the author of this book. I hope my book inspires you to collect your own words. Keep being creative and help those around you to be brave and confident. Confidence or word of the month. Keep reading, keep writing, keep dreaming. Keep going, never stop. Let's keep connecting the dots. Your friend on the journey, Pete. Look at all these words in this illustration. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> the word collector. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps. Some people collect coins. Others collect rocks. Some collect art. Some collect bugs. Others collect baseball cards. Some collect comic books. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. And his word right here says wonder. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. Willow tea shop. He collected words he read. Certain words that popped off the page. The so willow he read right there, or he saw right there. And then he read the word emerald in the book, The Wizard of Oz. Short and sweet words, spark, bloom, drift, dream, two syllable treats, treasure, motif, whisper, glimmer, hover, candid, and multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs, kaleidoscope, guacamole, wonderful, symphony, geometry. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first but they were marvelous to say. Aromatic, vociferous, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, smudge, torrential, bellow, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collection grew. He began organizing them. Dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, Jerome slipped and his words went flying. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collection had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing words together. Words he had not imagined, being side by side. Whisper, symphony, electric, peace. Savor, dreams, cascading, stars. He used his words to write poems. He used poems to make songs. They moved, they delighted. Remember, poetry is kind of like music. Some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the word, what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill pulling his wagon, packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw the children in the valley below, scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter Hamilton Reynolds. That's the author. Ooh, I have chills from that book. I loved that book. 
I love it because it also talks about how your words can make people feel like they matter and can make the world a better place, which I think is such a powerful lesson in this book. A challenge for you today is I want you to go and have a scavenger hunt around your own house and find words that you see, you read, you hear, and make a big list of words that stand out to you just like Jerome did. And then use those words to write a sweet note to someone in your family to tell them that they matter to you. I hope you enjoyed this book as much as I enjoyed sharing it with you, and I will see you guys in my next Read Aloud. Bye, everyone.